Ooh, welcome back everybody welcome if you are new today we're in the next nascar next gen cup series here at michigan uh we're car number four out of 26 so that kind of scares me that we're a really high car number probably a kind of low strength field but it is what it is a lot of people are probably registered for the uh nis race because it's running at the same time as this but there's still like 50 or so people that registered for this run so should be fun anyways fastest i've ran like by myself was in like the lower point fours i think it was like a 39.4 and then when i got in the draft i got down to like a low two so hopefully we can run that four again here for qualifying first lap's gonna be like just warming up your tires for the most part because it will kick out loose on you so i'm trying to take it easy through this first turn four try not to get too sideways and really kill the rear tires so the first lap probably won't be as fast as the second lap but we'll do the best we can it's kind of like how the truck race was for qualifying try to stay above that seam see it's getting like it kicked out loose on me right there like these cars would just like grip and then like really kick out bad on you so you got to be ready for it it's not the most fun thing I think just running the normal line in three and four will be fine for gaining speed. Move up all the way to the wall to gain as much speed as we can for the start of the second lap. This lap will probably be kind of a throwaway, It'll probably be like a point six or something like that. Oh, okay, never out of point nine. Really got loose in one and two then. Going a lot deeper. Try to get this the hook. Bring it out to the wall, trying not to smack the wall. It's definitely a better one and two because we didn't get sideways, but I think it could have been slightly better. Looks like a five, seven ish is the best times currently. That was a really good three and four as well. Try to stay somewhat low here. They ran a four oh nine. That's a really good time by yourself. Hopefully we can run in the mid fours. Ran a five thirty three. Okay, not terrible. Not exactly what I wanted. I think I could have gone a little bit harder in one and two there. And I could have probably gotten to the low side in three and four. Maybe hooked the bottom a little bit better like the trucks did. Because that, that actually worked really well for qualifying in the trucks. But so far we're starting somewhat towards the front. We're sixth right now. How many people have qualified? It looks like 17-ish. Yeah, a bunch of people have. So we're, we're going to be starting somewhat towards the front. Maybe towards the middle if a bunch of these guys qualify really well here to the end. We just fell another two spot, three spots. So, God, we were down to ninth. Okay, yeah, we're going to be starting about mid-pack. So, this could be a lot of fun. Uh, the draft here is crazy. So, we can get some real good racing here, hopefully. And hopefully, we don't end up in a wreck. All right, we fell all the way back to 13th. We're literally starting mid-pack. At least we're on the bottom. It doesn't really matter if you're bottom or top. Uh, the bottom, we could probably get some spots off, off the first couple laps. Right. The six car had a hell of a lap, though. A 338, that is flying by yourself. Even the other guys in the threes up there were really fast. But there are some low numbers up front, which is going to be real interesting. You got the 21 and fourth, 18 and seventh, 19th and 10th. So, going to be an interesting race. Hopefully, there's not a huge wreck up front really early, but you never know. There could be. Hopefully, we can avoid it. If so, it's a very big track. I'll, I'm willing going through the grass or just ducking way off on the back stretch to try to miss it. But if somebody does get hooked straight to the left on the back stretch or even on the front stretch, there might not be a caution if they go through the grass or all the way down there where the uh, pavement is on the back stretch. So you have to worry about that. Don't just like completely check up thinking there's going to be a caution when there, then there might not be because they're getting shot way to the inside. But hopefully we can move up through the field. Uh, getting like top eight, seven, I think would be good here. I feel like we can get up there. 35 laps is a pretty long time. We got, what, two sets of tires? Yeah, we do. Should be pretty good. Pretty much if they're, if you get like five laps or so on your tires, yeah, you're probably going to want to come pit. Two sets of tires. We'll, we'll see how this works out, though. Kind of play some strategy with it. Maybe if there's a caution like five, six laps in, I'll come take a set and then maybe bank on there not being a caution the rest of the way. Who knows? I feel like you can get a lot of really good racing. So if there is a caution. I feel like I'm going to come take tires. But if I'm on one set left and we didn't run very long, probably won't come take them then. We'll have to play it by ear, see how it goes.
Just gotta not screw up the pit stops. Because pit lane's kind of quick, and these cars stop and just slide, so you have to be worried about that a little bit. I just don't want to end up in a wreck. We had a really good truck race here. That was a lot of fun. I don't even remember where I finished. I think we finished, like, top five, something like that. And if any of you guys saw my league race on Friday at Daytona, yep. like I did a recruitment race with them here in these cars and did quite well. I so. joined this thinking it was the NIS race, but oh well, <laughs> I'm here. Yikes, that sucks. It's a lot shorter version of it. I don't know how many uh, laps the NIS is doing. They might be doing like 100 or so. I don't know how much the uh, normal race is, how many laps there are, but I know it'll be half of that. But yeah, my league race on Friday, we live streamed that. It, it went okay. I had some problems in the beginning getting the mic to work on the live stream and stuff. But I'll have that fixed for next week. Then I had the wrong chat popped up, so I didn't see anybody talking until afterwards when I noticed I was in the wrong one after the race. So we'll have that fixed and stuff for next week, which I think, I don't know if we're going to Michigan next week or where we're going. Everybody wasn't really like on it yet. Hopefully the guy behind us, yeah, he's kind of backing off. We're fine. Be careful, turn one, it will want to get loose. Cold tires want to get loose, just be careful of that. Watch out for anybody else. About to lose it. We had a good run there. We'll probably get to the inside of, who is that, 13? Seven cars really side drafting us, and from Daytona on our league race, like the side draft is absolutely crazy. Try to make this bottom work early. Okay, it's gonna go away. Fresh tires really can beat people on the bottom, but then after that, you wanna be on the outside lane. Gonna move up here so I don't get stuck down there. But if they're gonna go super high, I'll try to get by them early. Good save by the 16. My car started to step out on us too. Not as bad, but it started to on exit. Had to save it real quick. Going into turn three, you want to turn earlier than expected. Like, you can't take the banking on the front stretch like one and two. Three and four is kind of like flat going into three and four. So you got to be careful with that going into turn three. We'll want to push really hard if you don't turn early enough. And you'll really eat up the front right if you don't turn early enough. But turn one, you can kind of go in high and have a real big arc in. Yeah, they're all running super high up there. It's going to be real hard to get to anybody's outside to get by them. Three and four, you might be able to make the pass on the bottom. Oh, there went somebody. And we did get a caution. Okay. I'm kind of shocked we had a caution for that. I thought there wasn't going to be one. I don't think we're going to take tires this early. Like, we only ran, like, two and a half laps on tires. So, I think where everybody's going to stay out for the most part. But that guy just came down. It looked like on the back stretch, got hooked, and brought out a caution. So, we got a caution quite early. Hopefully, we don't end up getting, like, a caution fest race. It seems like people are doing pretty well and not getting into each other too much. I think that was just, like, somebody thought they were clear, tried to pull down, and just got hooked. Or the side draft started pulling them down, because that happens, too. But we are in the top 10 now. We've gained a few spots. So, I'll bring you guys back. We're getting ready to go green. All right. Yeah, nobody pitted in front of us, so we're still in 10th. Figured nobody was going to pit up here. We only ran two and a half laps. Uh, the 21 said that he smacked the wall, so that's why he like shot down the track into the guy on the low side, and then he got turned. So that makes some sense. Just got tied off a of two, I guess. Which can happen if you're pushing a little bit too hard, especially if you're running the high side already. Easy to uh, get pushed up into the wall. These cars are pretty tight. The setup really is tight. I wish uh, they were a little looser, but these cars are pretty hard to catch when they start to really spin out. Like a little bit of loose they get when they're like grippy on cold tires. It's like not super hard to catch. You just don't have to move the wheel. Just let off the gas and they'll pretty much catch it themselves and keep going. But once the car actually like really is spinning out, these cars are really tough to catch. You kind of just have to nail the brakes, get the car pointed straight again and then roll. Don't try to counter steer too hard because these cars really grip and just turn the opposite way. But starting 10th, I'm happy with being on the outside lane on a little bit older tires. Hopefully we can make up a couple spots here on the restart. 
Hopefully everybody's like in the right gear as well. Because you definitely don't want to be in third gear. First gear you might be able to make work, but you just have to you just shift so quickly. I don't want to do that. It never really works out for me when I start in a low gear like that. Second gear works perfect for me here. Waiting on leader in the restart zone. There he goes. Had a good jump there. Not trying to go three wide in 19. I just didn't want to be that close to his bumper either. Don't know how the heat cycle will affect the tires if they'll get like a little bit loose again or not. So take it a little easy through turn one. Think I want to be out here still. Hopefully we can get by the 18. Maybe push the 19 forward some. Okay, 19 got tight there a little bit. He kind of went a little high. Still didn't make up any ground though. Either way. Because they're two by two, there's really nowhere to go. I don't want to take it three wide on lap eight for no reason. Uh, I tapped the gas a little early there. Then I got the car to turn on the last half of the corner. Because I tapped the gas and it kind of pushed up really hard in one and two. 18 probably going to pull up here. Yes, he does. He's got room. I feel like turn three, you can make it work on the bottom. If I could like completely clear him, that'd be great, but I don't think we're going to. No, he's got the draft and everything. Still out there. Clear. At least nobody else got to our outside. We're fine. I just don't want to destroy my front right too early is the main thing. Somebody getting the wall? No? Okay, everybody started like jetting in. I thought somebody smacked the wall. They're checking up a little bit on the back stretch here. It's on the gas slightly early. Somebody's way up there in the clean part of the track. Nobody's really at. Don't want this guy behind me to get to my outside, really. He doesn't have a run, at least. Because I feel like that's going to be the way to pass on older tires here. If you can get a nice arc in though and get off on the low side when nobody's there you could probably be really fast 18 is trying to make a move on the inside of the 19. don't know if he'd be able to make it work here in three and four 19 went super high so maybe 19 is gonna have a lot of momentum though and the draft so i'm gonna try to stick outside with them and get on by the 18 here We'll have the preferred lane in one and two. Should be able to get by him on the back stretch, I think. He kind of sent it through one and two. Is he going to try to shut the door on us? Not quite. 19 got in the wall slightly. He had a really good one and two. Oh, he's shifting. Interesting. I don't know if that's smart or not, though. That's why he had such a good one and two down there on the bottom. Interesting. I wouldn't have tried it. Cause I could, he's just slow down the straightaway though. Cause you have to take that like point whatever seconds to shift and that'll hurt you down the straightaway some. One and two might be worth shifting though. Cause he is killing me through one and two there. Which is quite interesting. I'm getting such a run on the outside though. Down the back stretch it's not that big of a deal. Three and four, I don't think is... You don't go slow enough to shift, I don't think. Or at least to make it work well enough, because I could hear his engine just revved up. But we're up to, what, eighth? Not bad. We've gained five spots since the start of this race. And if we get a caution at this point, I imagine everybody will be pitting. The car is tight. Downshifting might allow them to sh to freaking uh, turn some. That was sketchy. 11 got in the wall. We barely missed the back back side of the uh, 19. That was close. I'm gonna shift here. 
try to clear the 12 car. I don't know what happened to 12. Sorry, that was a bad move, five. Hope you didn't get too much damage in that. Sorry about that. Or was the 12 car the one that smacked the wall and he had the 11 paint scheme? Like he had the 11 number on his paint scheme. The trading paints has been really uh, funky lately. Fourth gear might allow you to turn a little bit better. Three cars all the way up there in the wall. Outside. We making moves now <laughs> on these older tires. Outside. Kind of following the uh, 18s line from what I heard him doing next to us. Really didn't think shifting at Michigan would be viable, but I guess it is in these cars, which I kind of hate. I really hate that shifting is fast. 21 is not doing great. Oh, the 21, uh, I thought he spun out earlier. I thought he's the one that hit the wall and got spun, but I guess not. Maybe uh, he was just asking somebody for damage report because he got tight and smacked the wall. So I don't know what happened on that first caution if it wasn't the 21 because he did say that he smacked the wall. So I thought that was the reason for the caution, the car shooting down. I'm at the wall. 11 car in the wall. So maybe it was the 11 earlier that hit the wall because if he's in the wall again. Yeah, you can definitely get in fourth gear and like get on the gas without pushing as hard in fifth. Like pushing out to the wall. It's just so weird. Three car had a hell of a three and four though. That was a really good three and four by him. Twenty more laps. If we go green to the end, that'd be awesome, because tire wear would mean so much then. Got the run. It's 18. I didn't know if he was going to try to squeeze in or not. We had such a huge run. I didn't want to back off of that. All the engines around me. It's hard to hear my own engine and when I need to shift and stuff. We have the side draft on him, but he's got the draft in front of him. And we got the three car behind us pushing. I think he knows the outside is faster. Yeah, shifting at Michigan is weird. Got on the gas a little hard there, started pushing, had to let off slightly. I think we're in the top five, hell yeah. Kind of shocked that we got here after starting 13th. But yeah, it is real weird shifting here. I don't like it. Like this car with the five gears and the gear gearing of uh, all these cars, it's so odd, like shifting at so many places and it's just, I feel like it somewhat ruins the racing in a way, but because like somebody can just completely screw up downshift and then get a good launch off the corner instead of before somebody screwed up, you can get a huge run on them really and take advantage of it. Damn, that three car on the outside, what a run. I didn't expect that to happen. Now we're gonna be stuck on the bottom. But we're gonna be able to jump up behind him at least. We only lost that one spot. That was a hell of a run by the three. And one and two. That was nuts. Maybe we could follow him up through the pack because he's been real quick. He had that one mishap where he smacked the wall and we got by him off of turn two. So his front right might be hurting a little bit though from that. Just try to manage throttle, not get too tight on exit. 19's really making a surge back up here. Because we passed him a while ago when the 11 smacked the wall. Okay, back to the top five. We got by the 21 there. Okay, dove it in a little deeper than the three car. Wasn't able to get on throttle as early because they didn't want to hit his rear end. That side draft is killing me and we don't have the drafting help in front of us. But the 19 is coming to our aid on the outside. Yeah, fourth gear definitely helps not be as tight, at least, coming off the corner. So that's good news. Ooh, 21 almost tried pulling up in front of the 19 behind us. That was almost a disaster. But they are three wide behind us. Let off a little earlier there. Try to get the car to rotate a little bit better instead of diving the corner. All right, we're settled out in fifth right now. 
it's been a hell of a race. Like, Michigan puts up some great racing. I feel like the truck race is a little bit more fun to me because this shifting is ruining it slightly for me. Don't hit the wall. All right, we're good. I thought I was pushing a little bit too hard there. Slightly pulling away from the 19 and then behind. Was that the two car trying to make a move on the 14? Or, or the 16, I mean? 14 trying to make a move on the 16. Oh, wait, now I'm confused. He has the 16 number and... Oh, no, now it changed the 14. Okay. I was right at first. It was the two on the 14. 14 went super high there. And I had an awful three and four. Definitely using a little bit of brakes to get into these corners now. Try to get the car slowed up enough to make the turn easy. The two car made that pass well in three and four. The 14 just slid up way too much. He overdrove that corner or got pushed in there. I'm not 100% sure. But three and four is where you can make a pass in the bottom. One and two, not as much, I feel like. But usually down the front stretch, everybody funnels to the bottom if they're a single file. So the bottom side gets that run. But it's kind of opposite down the back stretch. Come on, 19. Give us the room. He kind of ran high there to enter the corner and screwed us up a lot. Three cars probably going to pull up behind the 14 if he gets clear. Yep, just barely there. I think that was a 21 behind us. Yeah, it was. He had a real deep entrance there. Three car got in the wall. Okay, I thought we were going to be able to go by him. I was trying to get behind the 19, but that didn't work. I thought the three car was going to be checked up a lot harder than that. This 19 car is pushing it hard through one and two. We're running so tight, too. Like, this is crazy. Great racing, great racing. Three car got in the wall slightly. I kind of went in a lot deeper than the three because I think he was backing off with the guys in front of him. The bottom side three and four is just so good. The outside not as good. He's gonna have that draft down the front stretch. We have about 11 laps to go. It's been nice and green since that uh, lap three caution where we had a real early on. Try not to push it too hard, being side by side with somebody. Okay, I could have hooked him into the wall. He cleared himself. I wasn't gonna cause a wreck there because that would just damage us for no reason. We'll try to get back by the 19. That guy sent it into turn three. Like I was not even going to like the lower lane, but that guy wanted to try running the same lane as us and just sent it in. At least we have some draft help in front of us this time down the front stretch. Damn, he waited a long time to shift there. Because I'm trying to get right to that seam. And the guys on the low side aren't giving as much room going in. Like, they're getting tight and stuff going into the corner and just kind of pushing up. Oh, geez. 19, you went way high in that corner. Go, 14, go. I'll try to push you. Because I got nowhere to go anyways. Everybody's staying on the top right now. Now they're funneling to the bottom like I expected. Slowly falling back right now, but... People are making passes on that bottom, which I'm shocked by. I really thought this outside was going to prevail. But right now, the bottom's really working out. They, maybe they've saved some tire as well. Okay, we got to get by that 14. Has been a problem. This 14 has been a slight problem ever since he went super high in uh, three and four when he was up in second. I feel like he's kind of burnt off his tires some now. So we should be up to what six now? Not bad. I was hoping to get to like seventh or eighth. I really didn't even think we'd have a sniff at the top five. 
The leader is absolutely gone. He is flying up there. Good run by him. Who is it? The I can't even see what number because my standings are messed up. Who is it? The six car. Okay, yeah, he was super fast at qualifying too. He was gone from everybody else. So he's saving his tires well. Not having to battle with anybody. I'm just shocked the bottom's working as well as it has been. I didn't expect that from my recruitment race a couple weeks ago or like two or three weeks ago or so here. Like I wasn't shifting. The car was turning a little bit better, but we did have less fuel to start with. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. And the draft meant everything. And you were able to make passes on the outside rather than the inside. So I was kind of shocked in this race that the bottom's working as well as it is. Two cars falling back now. Oh, God, we're going to be three wide. Okay, thank you. That's going to cause a caution. Check up, check up, check up. Everybody's going to come take tires now for sure. I don't know who I got hooked by, but the three car smacked the wall. The two cars to our outside. We barely door tapped him. And then I got hooked by somebody behind, which I don't even know what happened there. I thought we were fine. I honestly thought we were going to be fine there. So that, that was uh, interesting. Wasn't it ready for that? We're behind the nine the car now. Okay, so we're what? In six? Yeah, we're in six. That's fine. Everybody's going to come take tires. I know that. And I don't really think we're going to have too much damage because we just got hooked into the wall slightly. I don't see any damage on the right side. And it's actually driving fine. So we should be all right. I'm just going to come in, take those tires, and come out wherever we come out at. But that was a big wreck up right up front. I think it I think it kind of started from the three hitting the wall and the two car was trying to get by him. We accidentally door slammed slightly because they did three smack the wall. So that kind of started everything. But we're going to come pit. We're going to come pit and I'll come out wherever we come out. Probably won't get any damage fixed, which is fine. I think we're OK. So I'll bring you guys back and we're ready to go green for the last few laps. We're going to be on the inside, I believe. All right, we are on the inside. We fell so far back. I screwed up the pit stop. So did the nine because I came in right behind him and uh, I just tried slowing up for the pit stall and just slid the tires. I locked them up slightly. So I just slid through it. I hate doing that, especially on like when you get a long run like that, that it does not slow down as well with the tires. They just are so heated up. They lock up a lot easier. So that sucks. We lost a lot of positioning. We had like a minute and a half of optional damage too, which isn't great, but we're only having a couple laps here and i imagine there'll be a quick caution and maybe a green white checkered so hopefully we can gain spots from that everybody's gonna be going nuts for a green white checkered basically that's almost what we're having we're having two laps in a, in a white instead of green white checkered but it's gonna be nuts here at the end i feel like everybody's gonna be pushing it hard as hell and we'll see what goes on hopefully we uh survive it and hopefully our car is not too damaged to where we're slow because I don't see any damage physically on the right side, like in the car. I can't see any. So it didn't get like bent up or anything. I just hope our front right is fine. We're able to turn and everything, so I imagine it's okay. Just hopefully at speed, it's good too. That's the thing I'm worried about. All right, watch for the mayhem here. It's going to be absolutely crazy. That was a terrible start for me. I reacted so slow to when I started everybody going. I started seeing everybody go. Watch for people getting loose because they might not get used to be used to it. That guy is real slow there. It definitely is loose, but nobody got really loose. The 25 just was slow through that corner. He just took it way too easy. I let off early to try to just get low, see if we can make up any spots here. Be careful in the car getting sideways or anybody else. On the side. Probably won't do any shifting since we got new tires and everything. And we we're flying. Just balls to the wall, no saving or anything like that anymore. Get what you can. Because I screwed up my track position. We could have been top five for sure. Oh, yeah. I remember what happened in the uh, truck race. We finished ninth because I did strategy for a green-white checkered, and it didn't pay off at all. Because we had an immediate caution when we took the green. That's what happened. 
Oh god. I thought I was pushing up to the wall. But we're getting the white flag. We didn't get a caution. I'm one shocked by that. What position are we in? Like 14th, I think. Yep. Zero, That's two. so bad. I screwed us at the end. Missing my pit stall. I really wonder if anybody took two tires. I have no clue. That'd be real interesting. They're almost three wide for the lead, it looks like, up front. We're just not getting the run and suck up like we need. Outside. Try to get this bottom if we can. Try to get by the 18. They're going to have some draft. Damn, nobody wrecked. Good race. I'm shocked everybody kept it as clean as they did. That was crazy. Who won that thing? Good the race, Jason. Six car ended up winning it. Good for him. He he deserved it because he was by far the by far the fastest. 19 finished third, and we were right up there with him. We were right up there with him uh, before that caution. So that sucks for us. One bad move I made in that race. Sorry. I'm glad you got a decent finish. That wasn't intentional, but that was a bad move. I had to do it over again. I wouldn't have done that. But sorry about that. Yeah, I guess the 10 got into the five early on. Damn. Finished 14th, not where we wanted to finish. Did we really have any damage? No, not really. Our car looked pretty fine for the most part. Yeah, I don't even really see any damage on the right side because we got hooked in the right rear, basically into the right front on the wall. So that wasn't too bad. I want to go back and see that caution there because I really don't even know what happened. Uh, Where was it? It was right at the very end because we were racing hard. I'm pretty sure the three car up there gets in the wall the two car was trying to get by him, and I was trying to go low on both, but I wasn't, I couldn't see the three car physically, but I figured that he was smacking the wall the way the two checked up. We door slammed slightly, and then that guy just turned down into me. Okay, 18 car screwed it for us. That's what happened. 100% what happened. Because the 18 had a run from them smacking the wall, and then he tried to shoot down here. And the two car was trying to gather the car as well. And eight car 18 just hooked us. So that absolutely sucks because I was holding my lane. I wasn't really coming back up hardly. And then the two car got hooked. Did anybody else get hit by that? I know we didn't get hit. What about the 18? Did anybody smack the 18? No, he just slowed up too. So overall, uh, it was a not very big wreck. Everybody stayed pretty clean of it. And then what was the first wreck? Because that was pretty much all there was this whole race. What happened? This is on the back stretch. Oh, nine car got hooked. Was that by the uh, 18 as well? <laughs> it might have been. It was, but I think the, the 18 was expecting the nine to stay up there, and the nine kind of pulled down, trying to go three wide. Thought he was going to be clear of the 18. And that actually brought out the caution, what I was shocked by, because that was right in front of us. I remember that happening. But I didn't think a caution would gonna, was going to come out because he just got hooked straight inside. And that was all she wrote, really. And then... People probably smacking the wall, maybe get into each other slightly through the whole race. It was a real clean race overall, like really, really good race. I thought with us being the four car, it's going to be a lower strength of field, which it probably still is a lower strength of field, but I thought it was going to be like a worse race. People wrecking and everything, but we only had two cautions. They were three wide, really tight there. Okay, that, how did they not wreck there? Oh my goodness. That's what the 10 was talking about on the five because the 10 should have been out here by the wall and none of this would have even happened because the uh, 10 car just squeezed the five down there with the 20 the 20 probably expected the outside car to be higher as well and then the five got shot down into the 20 don't know how that didn't end up as a caution that was a great save and phenomenal by nobody else running into that because i thought for sure that was going to be a caution blinking but other than that, it was a pretty solid race. I think this is where the three smacked the wall early and we got by him. Like, he slowed up, scraped the wall. He didn't really even smack it that hard, but we had so much of a run on him, we went flying on by. But damn, I screwed us in the last pit stop uh, when I went to go into the pit lanes. I can show you that, where we lost all our damn positioning. Because we were coming down pit lane, and I just overshot it. I was right behind the nine, and he screwed up his pit stop too. I was going for the thing, I was going for it, and I just locked up the brakes and it slid. Like, I tried to stop the, uh, the slide. Like, you could see right here, I start to lock it up. I let off to try to get the slow up easier and then lock it up a second time and just overdrove it. And then I'm pretty sure the nine car 
overshot his as well. Oh yeah, he he overshot his pretty much the same as me. So that sucked. We lost all our positioning. We could have finished top five. We were right up there with the 19 before that caution, and we still had speed there at the end too. Like we had a minute and a half of optional damage, but it didn't really even hurt us, which was fine. Uh, we still had a lot of speed, but we finished 14th, started 13th, should have been probably top five. We had a great race and uh, able to work our way through the field, which was a lot of fun. But let's go see what we end up getting out of the I rate. Definitely going to lose a little bit, but that's all right. All right, results in strength of field just under 2,500. So not too bad strength of field. There's only two splits. And how many were in our race? 26. Yeah, there was just over 50 people that registered. So that makes sense. But uh, we started 13th finished 14th we got all the way to the top five that was a hell of a run so that was a lot of fun we lost 29 still a little bit over 3400 we do end up with that 4x which really hurts trying to gain some safety here on the oval side because i'm getting close to a 3.0 i don't want to drop uh below three really but uh good race overall that was a lot of fun surprise there wasn't more wrecks because people were like leaning on each other so hard a lot of really tight racing like the 19 and i had a few good laps like where we were real tight to each other's doors so we should have finished right up here if i didn't screw up that pit stop but overall that was just my fault and could have ran up front towards the end that would have been a chance at the win at least but we lose some i rating instead mistake on me so hopefully i don't make that mistake again i think we might be going here next week in my league race so hopefully uh I don't screw that up because we had a good run. I know I got speed at Michigan in these cars. It, really, in any car, it seems like. I ran the trucks here and ran really well. Started pretty far back. Worked our way all the way up to the top 10 or top 5, I should say. And then had a strategy call. It didn't work out for me in the green-white checkered. Because I think I started about like 11th in the truck race and then got to the top 5. There was a green-white checkered. I did a strategy call where I took two tires. The top 8 took none. Like nobody pitted in the top 8. And then there was like four of us that took two tires and then the rest of the field took four. And then as soon as we took the green flag, they were wrecking across the start finish. So I didn't even get to try that strategy. So, oh, well, strategy bit us uh, there. Uh, I messed up this time and just in the pits in general. And that's on my, that's all on me. I thought I would have had some damage, but we actually didn't, which was nice. So I'm happy about that. That didn't slow us down and we could have finished much worse. So that was great. And overall, very fun race. Everybody kept it really clean. Damn, 25 fell really far back. He was just off the pace, I guess. He was just slower, taking it easy, trying not to get any X's probably. And he just finished back there. But appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the racing. It was a lot of fun at Michigan. This track pr produces some really good racing. So I'm interested to see how the uh, NASCAR does this weekend here. Well, you guys will be, this goes out probably when the NASCAR race is going on right now. I'm racing this on Saturday. So I don't know what's going on there yet. But hopefully it's some good racing and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.